okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go and see you. Really? Are you kidding me? Hell no. I refuse to be. In the meantime, our garden is open. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we uh, uh, obtained. Last year, you know, those hanging bull thing? I don't know, actually, no shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice pad. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this crepe vendor outside with his car. So I go over there, and I want to impress her. So I order a crepe with sugar, you know, une crepe avec sucre. <gasps> I know, yeah, wait a tick. And the crepe man nods. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. Well, this place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Excuse me. Pardon me? trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, so close. I'm just being extra careful. Well, don't. Some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Yeah. Good. Go. Thank you. 
Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Nate? Did you catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. <sighs> Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And it's locked. Right. be light. Bad electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. <sighs> I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless he 
Need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Ah, oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. Guy can talk his way out of anything. Damn, dead end. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep, let's find something to climb on. I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? And <coughs> a lot more dusty. Oh, he looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters here. Ah, shakwa tu le devi atti. 